In this video we will go over 20 mechanical comprehension questions for the ASTB test. If you learn the concepts you can answer correctly. Let's get started. Download the ASTB tutoring from the App Store or Google Play for more practice. A light bulb requires 0.5 joules of energy to operate per minute. How many joules of energy are required to operate 15 identical light bulbs for 30 minutes? A. 60 joules. B. 75 joules. C. 150 joules. D. 225 joules. The answer is D. Explanation. One light bulb requires 0.5 joules for one minute. 15 light bulbs require 0.5 times 15 times 30 is equal to 225 joules for 30 minutes. Ice cubes floating in water indicate that as water freezes. A. Its density increases. B. Its weight decreases. C. Its volume increases. D. Its volume decreases. The answer is B. Explanation. As the volume of ice increases, density decreases. So, the ice floats in water. Katie places her bare hands on a metal object during a winter cold spell, she also feels cold. The reason for this is. A. The cold travels from the metal object to her hand. B. The heat travels from her hand to the metal object. C. Transfer of heat or cold is not possible. D. There is no connection between feeling cold and heat transfer. The answer is B. Explanation. Heat like energy, flows. It moves from hot things to cold things in three ways, conduction, for example, touching a hot pan, convection, for example, air rising in a heater, and radiation, for example, feeling the sun's warmth. What is the mathematical equation for work? A. Mass times acceleration. B. Force divided by displacement times cos theta. C. Force times displacement times cos theta. D. Energy divided by time. The answer is C. Explanation. Force times displacement considers total distance. The angle, theta, throws in a cosine term. It accounts for how much force actually acts in the direction of motion, reducing work done if the push isn't straight on. If a bimetallic strip is heated and metal A expands more than metal B, in which direction will the strip bend? Given that metal A is placed upon metal B. A. It will bend upward. B. It will bend downward. C. It will remain straight. D. It will bend irregularly. The answer is B. Explanation. When heated, the bimetallic strip bends away from metal B and towards metal A. This is because metal A expands more, pushing the whole strip to curve with the less flexible metal B on the inside. A brick and a feather are dropped simultaneously from a height of 50 feet in a vacuum. Which object reaches the ground first? A. The brick. B. The feather. C. They will reach the ground at the same time. D. Cannot be determined. The answer is C. Explanation. In a vacuum where there is no air resistance, both the brick and the feather will hit the ground at the same time. Gravity acts equally on both, so they fall at the same rate. In which of these temperature scales is absolute zero shown at zero? A. Fahrenheit. B. Celsius. C. Kelvin. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Explanation. Absolute zero is shown at zero on the Kelvin scale, K, only. The Celsius and Fahrenheit scales have absolute zero at negative values, minus 273.15 degrees Celsius and minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit, because their zero points are defined differently. A diver takes a balloon that starts with 2 liters of air and is sealed to an underwater depth of 5 m. What will happen to the balloon as it rises to the surface? A. The balloon will get warmer. B. The balloon will get smaller. 
C. The balloon will get bigger. D. There is no change to the balloon. The answer is C. Explanation. As the balloon rises, pressure outside it decreases. With pressure pushing in less, the balloon will expand to hold the two liters of air, appearing bigger near the surface. If you place your bare hands on a metal lamppost on a cold winter day, your hands will also become cold. The reason for that is. A. The heat travels from the lamppost to your hand. B. The heat travels from your hand to the lamppost. C. The heat may travel either from your hand to the lamppost or from the lamppost to your hand. D. Transfer of heat is not possible. The answer is B. Explanation. Heat travels from a hot object to a cold object. Your hand is hotter than the metal lamppost. Also, metal lampposts are good conductors of heat. So the heat travels from your hand to the lamppost, which gives you a cold filling. What will happen to the specific gravity of the solution if you add salt to the pure water? A. The specific gravity of the solution will be greater than 1. B. The specific gravity of the solution will be less than 1. C. The specific gravity of the solution will be equal to 1. D. Adding any amount of salt will not change the specific gravity. The answer is A. Explanation. Specific gravity is the ratio of the density of the solution to the density of water. Adding salt to the water will increase the density. As the density of the solution is greater than density of the water, specific gravity is equal to the density of the solution divided by density of the water that is greater than 1. When will condensation take place on the outside of a bottle? A. If there is hot liquid in the bottle and cold air outside the bottle. B. If there is cold liquid in the bottle and slightly colder air outside the bottle. C. If there is cold liquid in the bottle and cold air outside the bottle. D. If there is cold liquid in the bottle and hot air outside the bottle. The answer is D. Explanation. If there is cold liquid in the bottle and hot air outside the bottle, the water vapor in the air condenses into water liquid. Water molecules will lose heat at the touch of the bottle. A ball is kicked at an angle of 55 degrees. Which one of the following is true about its velocity at the time t after kicking it? Air resistance is ignored. A. The horizontal component of velocity will remain constant. B. The vertical component of velocity will remain constant. C. Velocity at maximum height will be zero. D. Velocity does not depend on the angle of projection. The answer is A. Explanation. After projection, only downward gravitational force is acting on the ball. Only the vertical component of velocity will be changing. As there is no horizontal force, there is no change in horizontal velocity. Velocity at maximum height will not be zero because there is a constant horizontal velocity. Velocity depends on the angle of projection. Which of the following is the electrical component that produces a voltage difference across it? A. Diode B. Inductor C. Resistor D. Capacitor The answer is C. Explanation Resistance is the electric characteristic of the conductor that opposes current through it. This characteristic produces a potential difference across the conductor. A component of the conductor is called a resistor. Which device can be used to measure current in an electrical system? A. Voltmeter B. Capacitance meter C. Multimeter D. Galvanometer The answer is C. Explanation. A multimeter is a general-purpose instrument to measure voltage, current, capacitance, and resistance, and sometimes other quantities as well. Also, an ammeter can be used to measure current. Download the ASTB tutoring from the App Store or Google Play for more practice.